this is the names you want to look at. You want to look at names uh, that are going coming from the bottom of the range, and once they come out of the bottom of the range. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is good. Hope everybody had uh, a really wonderful day. Hope everybody is great in your life, healthy and happy, and all that good stuff. As always, we really appreciate all the support. If you haven't done so already, kindly like uh, and subscribe to the channel to support the channel and everything else leave up to us to try to give you a very, very uh, unbiased point of the market. So let's talk about the tape. And again, if I sound a little bit too relaxed today, I just came back from a sauna Highly recommend it. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about the market. Uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and the day before that, uh, market has been selling off pretty aggressively led by uh, the NASDAQ. Matter of fact, if you go back to uh, the last month or so, that's been the lagger, right? That's been the one that has been kind of the redheaded stepchild that everybody acknowledges there, but they don't take any seriously. And you know, going into today, um, as you watched last night in the video, my whole game plan was uh, sell bias, right? My whole game plan was sell bias. Uh, obviously, uh, the monkey wrench, right? The curveball would have been, well, let's see what happens um, on the CPI number, which obviously was the big, was was kind of the big deal today. And you know, I was ready for it. I was I had my channels ready to the downside. I woke up early. Everything was good. I was mentally set. Uh, the market gapped up a little bit before the, the CPI number came. And just like, you know, we always talk about expect the unexpected. And this is why this is the greatest reality show that's not on television. Um, you know, if you go back to two CPIs, the previous September, right, we had, uh, you know, a pretty aggressive move down, right? We had a 1200 point move down on the Dow that day. The October CPI, we gapped up initially, went down 500 points only to rally 850 points, only to sell off the next day. And today we said, well, let's see what happens. And, you know, the, the CPI came out, right? Um, you know, it was it was less than expected. I think it was like four tenths of a percent. Expected it was like six, six to seven, you know, six to seven tenths of a percent. Uh, the number came in soft. Uh, there was ro 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 murmurs going around, um, you know, murmurs going around that the Republicans, I forgot which one it was, I'm so tired, you know, are getting either control of the, of the House or the Senate, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But the most important part was the stocks that were, um, the redheaded subchildren, right? The, the ones that got hurt the most, they got really neglected the most, uh, they started exploding and they started exploding on um, bond yields imploding, right? And that was the most important part. And I, I tell you one thing, I've been trading for a very, very long time. It's very tough for me to remember, at least going back into recent memory, that when we saw something like this, right? So if you guys, you know, if you guys were, were at your computers, you know, NASDAQ was up about seven and a half percent today. Again, I, it's staggering number. I don't even remember the last time uh, you know we could even make that statement, but the Qs surged about not even the Qs. The Nasdaq 100 surged about four and a half percent. I'm talking about within minutes, within absolute minutes, and they were up about five percent or so on the opening ranges. Everything went nuts, as you can imagine. Uh, as the the Qs go, everything goes. Amazon, you know, Amazon. I mean, again, just you know, just look at the 60 minute candles, right? Amazon. Uh, and Netflix and my, I mean, you could go for one by one by one. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, they all exploded. And the moral of the story was, well, welcome to the market. You want to be a trader, you're a trader. And, and your, your, your opinion, as we say, uh, every night is completely irrelevant. Uh, now the question is, what happens, right? 1,200 point move on the Dow. Um, you had a 5.5% move on the S&P and obviously a nearly 7.5% move on the QQQs, which is absolutely phenomenal. But here is the most important part of today, right? If you're a logical soul and you turn around and you saw the first few minutes of the day 
you turn around and say, wow, that's a four and a half, five percent move in a matter of minutes. It's pretty tough to turn around and go, let me get my, you know, let me get my teeth sunken into this rally. We want more, right? Four and a half, five percent is pretty big uh, for the week, right? For two weeks, let alone for three minutes. So I could see how a lot of people kind of, you know, took a little bit of step back, waited, waited for a dip that, by the way, never came, right? It, this is literally uh, a staircase to heaven type of scenario. Bulls were incredibly strong, led by uh, the semiconductor space. NVIDIA, I, I don't think NVIDIA all day, if you look in NVIDIA's chart, for example, I don't think NVIDIA, this is a 60 minute view. You're telling me NVIDIA, the most this thing came in was 60 cents on this candle? Stairway to heaven, and it kind of resembled a lot of the names. But here's kind of the big picture, right? Kind of going into uh, you know the holiday season. I'm actually very, very happy. Again, I, I don't care which way the market trades. Um, bull, bear, it doesn't make a difference as long as ranges are being organically confirmed. And that's the most important part. But I will say, I enjoy a good, good bull market, just like everybody else does. Just because, again, especially we're going into the holiday season, who the hell wants to be, you know, a grump or a grinch, you know, sitting at Thanksgiving dinner, you know, with, with, the, you know, with the market melting every single day. So I'm very, actually very, very happy that this happened. But more important, what's, what's happening from the technical point of view. And that's exactly how we always lead every single day. Like I said a few minutes ago, trying to give you a very unbiased opinion going into the, to the session. The last time we had a big number, right? A big number that was put on the CPI was right over here. If you guys remember, it was on October the 13th, the Dow was up 850 points, the NASDAQ was up like four or 500, and then the next day gave it all back, which was very, very odd, only to kind of reclaim the following day to start the next move up. A very, very uh, weird uh, sequence of events. But, if you notice how we close today, right? This is the first close over the 50 day moving average since the one day wonder we had all the way back to September the 12th, right? This is a very, very big deal. And as we, we say all the time, the cheat sheet in trading is if the market is above the 50 day moving average, that's bullish. If we're below the 50 day moving average, that's bearish. And all you have to do is kind of see like right over here, right? We, we reclaimed this light blue line, right? It was bullish. We lost the light blue line. What happened, right? We went lower. So here we are, first day, first close over the 50 day moving average. And now the question is, can the bulls confirm, right? Can the bulls confirm today's action? And granted, this was such a big move. Is it possible we get some, you know, we get some, you know, we get a little bit of profit taking tomorrow. It's possible. I mean, again, you have a seven and a half percent yearly move on the NASDAQ composite. Is it conceivable there will be a res day? Absolutely. I mean, will it shock me if we continue? Absolutely not, because that's what usually happens when we get above the 50 day moving average. We usually do follow through. As you can see here, we got above the 50 day and we follow through. We got above the 50 day, right? We got above the 50 day here, we follow through. So if we have a scenario, especially a light volume, uh, kind of profit taking scenario in the morning and we go red to green and start taking out today's channels could provide some uh, exceptional day two uh, fireworks. And when you look at a lot of charts, you're going to see them. We'll get to uh, you know some charts in a second, but you're going to see a lot of names kind of mirror the NASDAQ 100. But here's the most important part where we're getting up to tomorrow. You see this, you guys remember that rally uh, on October 22nd, right? October 25th that we stopped right here, right around that 84, 84 and a half area. That's the next big, you know, key to the, for the queues. If we can reclaim uh, 84 and a half on a close on the queues, yeah, then, then this rally will start to get really, really good legs and possibly move into this, or, you know, low 290s, which will be really, really great because again, everything then will pull up. Uh, spies today, again, congratulations for all you guys who held on to the spies. They did something very, very good as well, right? Not only did they, you know, gap up, reclaim all this, but they took out the top of the range here. And I tweeted out, I tweeted out the wrong number. It was supposed to be uh, 390 and a half needed to build. I put 290 and a half needed to build, but you guys kind of got the point. Everybody in the webinar knows I'm slightly dyslexic, a little, a little slightly cuckoo as well. So you can see here really, really strong moves. And we went right into the next supply here in this 94, 95 area. You can see really, really big moves. So congratulations to all you guys, not only uh, that took spies today, but also took the cues and when they reclaimed uh, the, the 279 area. And again, next stop here is the 280, uh, 280. 
84, 60 area, which should be very, very good. So if you look at that, you know, if you look at the first sequence of events reclaiming the 50 day, now you're looking at the, the stocks that could start supporting the narrative that we just, you know, accomplished today. And you start looking at names like NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA out, out of supply, right? You still got, you got another four or five points. You got out of supply of NVIDIA. You know, look at a name like ILMN, right? Stocks are all these stocks coming off the bottom of the channels are going to start taking out the ranges. This is the names you want to look at. You want to look at names uh, that are going, coming from the bottom of the range. And once they come out of the bottom of the range, well, they should, they should be really, really exaggerated. The, the, the key members here right now are the semiconductors. And when I went through my charts today, well, you know, a lot of the values on the semiconductor names, look at AMD, right? Look at AMD stopped right, you know, right above the 50 day moving average into supply. If AMD gets above this area here, you know, you got a lot of room up here. A uh, name like Qualcomm, again, semis look really, really good. You know, Qualcomm also reclaim the 50 day moving average. If it just takes out this whole channel here, there's a lot of move up as well. Netflix, right? It doesn't make a difference which one you're looking at. They're all gonna be more or less kind of the same, but what was good about Netflix is never went below the 50 day moving average and today reclaimed the 10. And if you believe in the theory that uh, the 10 day moving average is the birth of the trade, well, if Netflix confirms uh, today's channels and you got 283, 289 uh, on its view as well. The one stock that's, you know, starting to wake up and it it's been a really great trader today uh not today excuse me overall especially in the last few weeks the downside was tesla um you know i i do like that it did shake off some weakness today we had you know one little cute little short uh at, at the opening range uh you know not nothing nothing really to write home about but more important is i like the fact that it it reversed put in the hammer here on some really really explosive explosive volume. You can see the, the volume expanding here, 132 million shares traded today. I, I would like to see if Tesla could get above these two candles here. You see these two candles here and reclaim the five day, because if it does, all the stigma, all the nasty stigma, number one, it'll engulf this whole channel here, but more important, start opening it up. So it does have room to like 207, 212. So I, I don't know if he'll get there tomorrow, but I definitely want to watch it for the next couple of days. Obviously, if it rolls over, then we're having a whole different conversation. So going into tomorrow, you know, obviously you want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. You know, obviously we understand we're not schmucks. Uh, we're adults here. We could get a little bit of profit taken. But the cool part about that is, uh, if we do have any type of profit taking coming in tomorrow, that a lot of the names that didn't get above the 50 day moving average and mirrored the cues today and the spies today, there's a guy is a good probability that they will and start playing catch up as well. So we definitely have, uh, we definitely have some really great value uh, coming in tomorrow. Again, you don't have to be really creative. Just go on the NASDAQ 100 to see any stock that got above, uh, above the 50 day moving average today. Uh, and you can see uh, how much room there is for the next uh, measured potential. So that's it, guys. Crazy day. Event days are always uh, absolute violence. Uh, today uh, was nothing short of that. Uh, you know, again, there's, 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 a, there's a running joke. Uh, there's a running joke in the market that, you know, when, when the market is always bad, the market makers manipulate. Well, who the hell manipulated this move up 7.5%? Think about that next time you use the market makers as a crutch. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, Friday. And with God's help, we'll see each other soon. Take care, everybody.